Rapid Plasma Reagent Test for Syphilis Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease caused by Treponema pallidum. After infection, the host forms non-treponemal antibodies called reagents. RPR Carbon Antigen Test is a macroscopic non-treponemal flocculation test for the detection and semi-quantitative estimation of reagent antibodies. This test is used in the screening and follow-up of therapy for syphilis. Reagents Carbogen RPR reagent A particulate carbon suspension coated with lipid complexes. Positive control Negative control Isotonic saline Primary sample No special preparation of patient is required prior to collection of sample. A sample should be rejected if it is hemolyzed, lipemic or the quantity is not sufficient. Fresh serum or plasma should be used. Equipment Stopwatch Pipette and tips Test tubes Mechanical rotor at 180 rotations per minute circumscribing a circle of 2 cm in diameter on a horizontal plane. RPR cards Mixing sticks Test procedure Bring reagent and samples to room temperature before testing. Thoroughly mix the carbon antigen reagent suspension by gentle agitation before testing. Qualitative method Pipette 1 drop or 50 microliters of test specimen positive control and negative control onto separate reaction circles of the disposable card using a micro pipette. Add one drop of well mixed RPR antigen reagent next to the test specimen positive control and negative control by using the reagent dropper provided in the kit. Do not let the dropper tip touch the liquid on the slide. Using a mixing stick, mix the test specimen and RPR antigen reagent thoroughly, spreading uniformly over the entire reaction circle. Immediately start a stopwatch. Rotate the slide gently and continuously, either manually or on a mechanical rotor at 180 rotations per minute. Set the stopwatch and observe for flocculation macroscopically at 8 minutes. Interpretation of RPR test Reactive Large and medium black flocules against white background. Weakly reactive Small black flocules against white background. Non-reactive No flocules, even grey background. Reactive result indicates presence of reagent or anti-lipoidal antibodies. Non-reactive result indicates absence of reagent or anti-lipoidal antibodies. Semi-quantitative method. Place one drop of positive control and one drop of negative control onto their respective circles. Using the isotonic saline, prepare serial dilutions of the test specimen positive in the qualitative method as 1 in 2, 1 in 4, 1 in 8, 1 in 16, 1 in 32, 1 in 64 and so on. Place 50 microliters of 0.9% saline in circles numbered 1 through 6. Do not spread the saline. Place 50 microliters of serum in circle 1. Mix the saline and the serum in circle 1 by drawing the mixture up and down. This gives 1 in 2 dilution. Transfer 50 microliters from circle 1 to circle 2 and mix. Transfer 50 microliters from circle 2 to circle 3 and mix. Transfer 50 microliters from circle 3 to circle 4 and mix. Transfer 50 microliters from circle 4 to circle 5 and mix. Transfer 50 microliters from circle 5 to circle 6 and mix. Discard the last 50 microliters. Then add one free-falling drop of antigen suspension in each circle. 
Mix with applicator sticks. Set the time for 8 minutes. Rotate the slide manually or put it on the VDRL rotator. Observe for flocculation. The titer is reported as a reciprocal of highest dilution showing positive result. Since the highest dilution giving flocculation in our experiment is 1 in 4, the titer of the patient for antilipoidal antibodies is 4. Quality control. Internal quality control. Use positive and negative internal kit controls alongside patient samples. These controls are provided in commercially available kits. Alternatively, a previous day's known positive or negative patient sample can also be used as in-house quality control. External quality control should be performed once in three months with an accredited external quality assurance scheme provider. Maintain record. In case of discordant results, take appropriate corrective and preventive actions. Safety precautions. Handle all samples as potentially infectious. Follow standard precautions. Do not perform mouth pipetting. Sources of variation. RPR reagent is not mixed thoroughly. Insufficient or inappropriate samples. Inadequate temperature for storage in refrigerator. Note. Reactive RPR test samples should be subjected to further confirmation testing by specific treponemal tests, for example, TPHA, as the diagnosis of syphilis cannot be made by RPR test alone.